These are five of the latest and greatest smartphones of 2020, two of which house Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip, two house the predecessor Snapdragon 865 chip, and one of them, the brand spanking new Dimensity 1000 Plus. That being the cheapest phone all the way on the right, the K30 Ultra against the Mi 10 Ultra, Red Magic 5S, Lenovo Legion Phone Pro, and Asus ROG Phone 3. All of them have LP DDR5 RAM besides the K30 Ultra, all of them have high refresh rate panels, and all of them have their own respective gaming software mode in order to boost performance. We have updated the software on all of the devices over here, and we're going to be rocking Antutu version 8.4.3 across all five devices. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go! We're going to start here by checking the battery percentage as well as the battery temps in degrees Celsius over here at the start of the test as well as CPU degrees in Celsius at the start. We'll compare this at the end of the test. We're going to make sure that all of their respective gaming and high performance modes are indeed enabled before we get going with the test. And during the test, I'm going to be speeding it up a little and slowing it down a little just to show you guys a different perspective of Antutu version 8. I did start the two gaming eccentric Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip phones on the left hand side at the same time. The two toward the right of that being the vanilla Snapdragon 865 phones, the Red Magic 5S and Mi 10 Ultra at the same time, and the Dimensity started actually first over there or on its lonesome. So we had 100% real time here. You can see that all of them are ridiculously smooth. And for under $300, I must say I'm extremely impressed with the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset seen on the Redmi K30 Ultra. Moving on to the second part of Antutu version 8 over here. Once again, nice and smooth, but we're yet to get to the most graphics and tests possible part of the test, which is indeed phase three with the Terracotta Soldiers. Skipping through to that, as you can see a lot more lag happening here. I have personally tested out the frames per second here using an FPS counter. If you guys have yet to see that video, make sure to go look for it on my channel. And if you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that subscribe button. But as I was saying about the FPS, all of them will be sitting at around 10 to 15 frames per second in this phase three of Antutu version eight, because it is so darn graphics heavy. And you can see the jitteriness and the lagginess on all five devices but i must say that once again the k30 ultra is looking really smooth besides from these strange colors on the screen you can see that they've used a cheaper amoled panel here as opposed to the more expensive phones the four all the way on the left with the highlight screen here being the mi 10 ultra it looks absolutely phenomenal and in close second i would honestly say the red magic 5s is nice sharp and clear compared to the two on the left of it skipping through that section over there we're going to test out the screen refresh rates. I'm going to slow it down a little bit over here so that you guys can get a little bit of a feel for the screen refresh rates. This is not recorded in slow motion. I've just slowed down the clip. As you can see that all of them are doing a fantastic job over here, 144 hertz. Most of them on the left hand side there with the two Xiaomi devices sitting at 120 hertz. All of them doing a decent job over there. The ROG Phone 3 drain the least amount of battery, but it does have the biggest battery cell here when it comes to the best performing battery in terms of milliamp hours per minute drain. It was awarded to the K30 Ultra, surprise, surprise, with just 17.3 milliamp hours per minute, with the worst being the Red Magic 5S and Mi 10 Ultra, both with 4,500 milliamp hour batteries and 20.8 milliamp hours per minute of drain. When it comes to adding in degrees Celsius, the Red Magic as well as the Legion Phone Pro added the least in degrees Celsius with just six. And the one that added the most over here is indeed the K30 Ultra, adding 8.2 degrees in Celsius. And the K30 Ultra was also the hottest, peaking up at 38.6 six degrees in Celsius. When it comes to CPU temps over here, the phone that gained the most in degrees Celsius was indeed the ROG Phone 3 adding 9 in degrees Celsius over there and the Red Magic 5S adding the least with plus six degrees in Celsius that time around. And apparently Red Magic have told me that this gets even better with their new iStock, which would be really interesting to see. Make sure that you stay tuned for that one in the weeks to come. The ROG Phone 3 also hit the max peak heat over here with 44 degrees in Celsius, matching that of the Mi 10 Ultra. Quite hot devices over there with the coolest being the Legion Phone Pro at just 40 degrees. When it comes to final score, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra with the vanilla Snapdragon 865 Pro 
processing chip actually placed first with over 640,000 points, beating the Legion Phone Pro and the ROG Phone 3, both with the improved Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip phones, which are sitting at 630,000 and 616,000 respectively. But right in between there is indeed the Red Magic 5S, also with a vanilla Snapdragon 865 chip, much like you see on the Mi 10 Ultra, beating the ROG Phone 3 with 618,000. The Dimensity did place last at 474,000, but when you start to consider the actual price bracket of the phone, it's doing an absolutely fantastic job. And food for thoughts, it actually performs better than the Snapdragon 855 and 855 plus processing chips of last generation. When it comes to detailed results, the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro got the best CPU award with the worst CPU on the K30 Ultra, worst GPU on the K30 Ultra, best GPU on the Mi 10 Ultra, best memory on the Mi 10 Ultra, worst memory once more on the K30 Ultra, no surprise over there. The best user experience this time around on the ROG Phone 3 and of course the worst user experience on the K30 Ultra and that is honestly pretty accurate. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.